So we're just approaching uh, Sutton Bank and uh, I just thought I'd put this camera back on because this is a pretty village um, and do you know for the life of me I can't remember the name of this village I shall have to put it up here <laughs> up here <laughs> later can't think of it for the, name, for the life of me, but it's very pretty. This is, well, Thirsk is where I, I'm going to turn back today. Uh, it's sort of the outer limits of my ride. And I'm running, at the moment, I'm sort of running along the top edge of this odd shaped ride that I'm doing. So I'm probably only about an hour from home. But uh, it's just, not, it's just know, somewhere I've ridden for a long while. I have ridden on this road for definite, um, but it's a fair while since I've been down here. I couldn't tell you just when, but I suspect not in the last three years. I would think the last time I was down here was on my little Honda Hornet. And that's just the best guess I've got. But the interesting thing about this road is it's prohibited to uh, to cars towing caravans and I'm not I'm pretty certain trucks are also prohibited it's a fearful climb um, one in three and it literally just goes up the side of the cliff so there's nothing on a motorbike though I mean power to weight ratios on bikes but as I say it's called Sutton Bank it's quite famous for um, people flinging themselves off these cliffs with their hang gliders and other forms of flying apparatus. <laughs> and uh, that stone uh, reminds us that we're now joining the, uh, or entering, the North Yorkshire Moors National Park. This is one edge of it. And apparently HGBs can use this hill because it said there were 74 blockages and it's advising using crawler gears. Now that surprises me. I would have thought they wouldn't be allowed up here. They won't let caravans come up. I know that for a fact because there's an escape road for caravans. So I will leave the camera on for this because it's, uh, I, I, I don't know if you'll actually work out how steep this beggar is, but uh, I'll leave it on. Probably the steepest hill we have around here anyway. Spike in second gear and let him do his job. There's some very, very, very tight turns though, and that's what you've got to be wary of. This one in particular comes back on itself. Look at this. This is the nice thing about Spike, he just muscles his way up anything. He's, he's phenomenal really, he really is phenomenal. But just gobs of talk. I mean, he, he just romped up that, my, my little car. Woo, and it went wrong. Yeah, see what I mean? I was going to go straight on and actually the main road to the right. And we're in Rydale. So, that was... Sutton Bank. I'm 
just going to put the camera on all this road that I've not filmed before and uh, whether I'll use it or not I don't know but it's a piece of road I've never been on with a camera so it's going to get filmed and it's amazing the um, the transition um, five miles away there's the A19 and busy roads coming from a major city going up into the heart of Teesside and within five miles we're in this quiet backwater riding into the Rydell Forest uh, and it, it, it's, it's stunning have to say I think I've finally found a bike that I could like as much as Spike I really like that Grizzo I've never seen one in the flesh my god it's made a hell of an impression on me I thought it was a stunning piece of motorcycle man yeah, I was really impressed with um, Teasdale's I've driven by it loads of times never been in it uh, and it, outstanding absolutely outstanding shop so typically they had a blooming radio going so I'll try and I'll have to be careful how I use me um, Oh, that's a shame. That was a hawk. Oh, that's a big shame. It's a popular bike riding road, and I'll tell you for why. We're near Helmsley, and Helmsley is the heart of the bike riding community in North Yorkshire. Uh, you, you may have heard of the Helmsley TT. I know Cam Bike has mentioned it a few times. And I would imagine a lot of the bikes we'll see have been on it, I've, I've actually ridden, we're not, we're not going on the TT, uh, I'm going on the road to Hovingham, uh, back to Beverley. But interestingly, as I've said again, oh, there's a nice view here, uh, you just know, uh, what I can see on the horizon over there, is purple and it's heather. Give him a nod. Right on the horizon, you can see it, it's the top of the moors, and it, it's a big beds of heather, it's all in bloom. It's, there's some here on the right. The purple that you can see, that's that's heather. Absolutely stunning. I was trying to think of somewhere that's the road there that's coming out there that's the road the caravan has used to avoid uh, Sutton Bank Sproxton and this is my back road to Malton I've continued on I've just I've actually just turned uh, left turn left turn right Couldn't make my mind up which way to go, but I could have gone through Helmsley, but it's quite a bit further round, and uh, I don't want to. I don't. I've been tired all day, so I don't want to overdo it. And it's quite hot, and as uh, Kelly Smoke was telling me, be careful of the heat. I heard her saying. Well, Sean showed us a, um, a picture of his thermometer in his car. I'm sure it said 127 degrees. My God, I couldn't have sat in that car to save my life. The temperature gauge on Spike is showing uh, 87. And I would think that's air temperature. I've taken about, uh, what I've actually done is I've probably taken about 15 or 20 miles off my ride by coming this way, but I've still got the thick end of uh, 40 miles to ride home, so it's enough. This is a magnificent road to ride a motorbike on. 
They're only spoilt by uh, these inconsiderate farmers who spray mud all over the road. But I suppose they're only doing their jobs, aren't they? But it's 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 famous for pretty um, pretty buildings and just a beautiful bendy country road. It's one of those roads. It's an absolute pleasure to ride a bike on. The road surface is nothing to write home about. But for a steady rider like me, that's not a big issue. I think if you were on a sports bike, you wouldn't be enjoying yourself about now. But, um, <clears throat> asking myself the question, did I do the right thing today, coming here rather than going to uh, Lincolnshire? You're damn right I did. I've forgotten how nice it was up here. I've had a nice afternoon now, really enjoyed myself. <coughs> so I'm quite happy because uh, I'm all done, all my chores are done. I'm all sorted out at home. I can actually, well, the only thing I could go home to do, and I plan to do that probably tomorrow when I get a spare moment, I want to start painting the floor in my garage prior to winter coming on. I've just got to go and get some... Um, some masonry paint. I may size the floor first of all with a whoa a pony car. What an ugly pony car, but it was a pony car. Uh, I may size the floor with a weak solution of emulsion paint before I uh, put all the expensive masonry paint on it just to try and stop it soaking up all the expensive paints. Okay, so what we're coming up to now is the village of Hovingham. If there is a pretty village in North Yorkshire, this is one of them. This gets my vote, anyway. Georgian village and it is breathtakingly beautiful so I'm going to take my time and try and let you see as much of it as I can Beautiful little Ford. The Malt Shovel Public House. Oldie Worldy Schools. Wesley Arms Hotel. Isn't that something? <sighs> this is the village of Slingsby. And curiously, there's a a village of the same name in Lincolnshire. My God, when you stop, you can feel the heat. Oh God, it is so hot. <laughs> oh, cooking. Uh, oh, I didn't want to sit there very long. That was getting a bit warm. Get some air to my face for a minute. Good God, and I lost in 1300 GT. Whoa, that's a cracking little car. That's a car from my childhood. One of the first cars I ever owned, I had a white one of them. Wow, that was brilliant, I love that. I really like that little car. I had the saloon car version, that was a sporty one, that was an Austin 1300 GT. I had an Austin 1300. Um, 
I don't know. It was a middle of the range one. It was nice. I'm about to be blitzed by a guy on a bike. Let's look, wait. So this is the last of the nice villages uh, along the stretch of road towards Malton. And uh, I've tried to film all of them. They're all got... There's a familiar theme running through them, sort of Georgian, sandstone, lovely lovely sash windows. And even the modern houses that they built are uh, sympathetic. It, it is a lovely road to ride this. Really nice road. Can at times be busy, but um, if you if you're coming from the uh, the north of England and you want a shortcut across to Hull, this is the road to use. It goes from the A19 through um, well up 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 Sutton Bank and for the signs for Helmsley and then just before you get to Helmsley, they say, is that right turn at Broxton and follow the road to Malton, Norton, Beverley and then you're in Hull. It's, it's, a, it's a comfy 30 minute saving on going round on the 64, but it is a windy old road. Um, probably you'll be gaining more on a motorbike than you would in a car, although, you know, certain times of the day when it's busy in New York, you'll win again. Anyway, as we're coming into uh, the outskirts of uh, Malton, I'm going to say thanks for watching and uh, stay safe everybody. Bye for now.